I'm here at the West Fork of Rock Creek Trailhead, getting ready for a, a long hike in today. I'm going to climb Sundance Mountain and hopefully get back to the car before dark. It is, let's see what time it is here. We got uh, 4.45 a.m. We're going to eat some breakfast and then we're going to hit the trail here. Well, I've made it to Quinnabo Meadows. There's Whitetail Peak. I made it uh, five miles in an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm actually absolutely booking. Well, I'm getting closer to uh, Whitetail Peak and Sundance Pass. Sundance Pass is right up there, kind of on the back side of that little spire shaped rock. We're probably, let's see, probably seven or eight miles in one way and I've been going for about two hours and 15 minutes so I'm making great time. I've made it to the base of uh, Sundance Pass which is right up there, that saddle in the middle. Getting really close to Whitetail and there's our peak right there, there's Sundance Mountain. We're gonna go up the drainage, wrap around and we'll climb the south face which is other side. This is just unbelievably beautiful. Less than a mile, we'll be cutting off and right here and starting to make our approach to the mountain. All right, I'm starting to make my ascent up the mountain now. Over right up that goalie, start working my way to the left, and then get underneath the summit cliffs, go up a chimney to the right, and hopefully that should be the summit. Hopefully I'll stay away from the snow for the most part. Now crossing my first major snow field here. Gonna head up to the other side and then climb that rib, be on rock then, and then hopefully tuck up to the left of this cliff face here. And then hopefully I should be able to see the summit from, from there. Well, it was a little sketchy, but I was able to cross snowfield that's where it came from pretty fairly steep wouldn't want to slide down that what we're gonna do here I think we're gonna head up these cliffs here I think that's the summit straight in the back the high point there I think Pretty sure that's probably the summit. So I think we're gonna skirt a little bit to the left, gain the plateau, and then skirt to the right and should be able to hit the summit that way. Well, I'm about four hours and 20 minutes in. I just hit the 11,000 foot contour line. close to the summit cliffs here. And that 
that's the summit cliff. I'll need to stay at the base of that, go towards the left side, and kind of wrap around, and then that's how I gain access to the top, and then I cut up a, a goalie all the way to the top, and then straight to the summit. About 11,700 feet right now, so 500 feet more to go. Well, getting closer, probably about another 100 feet. Got to go up that direction. That's the way I came up. Well, I made it to the summit plateau. All the hard work is done. I got about maybe a quarter mile max. Just walking over to the high point. So it's gonna be bagged. Whew. Lungs are definitely feeling it. Not much air up here above 12,000 feet. Just awesome views up here. White tail over there, castle behind me. It's just unbelievable. Well, there it is, right there. There's the summit. There she is. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo, baby. Look at that view. drainage about as far as you can see That's where I started this morning awesome view pretty good view back this way too it's like a big plot It took me a little bit over six hours to get here from the car. From car to summit, six hours and ten minutes. Not bad at all for the distance that I hiked in just to get to the mountain. Weather looks like it's going to cooperate. For now anyway. But I've been up here for about ten minutes. It's probably long enough. I need to take my time getting down and get off this mountain just in case another storm does start developing because they do develop pretty quick up here. There's Bowback Mountain, there's the Traverse. Let's get up to there, I did that one last year. It's pretty cool looking from this point of view. Now the real fun begins. Time to climb down off this plateau. Try to get same route that I went up, but we shall see. Now crossing another snow field. Crossing a little bit higher than I did on the way up because I think it's a little bit shorter. I think I crossed down there before. But it's a little bit shorter getting across this one. Still about the same steepness, but I can get over to these rocks and then go back down the way I came up. Working my way down. Probably another 30, 
40 minutes and I'll be off the mountain. Thank goodness, these boulders are killing me. Came down just a little bit ago from that snowfield there. Heading towards the lake right there. And I'll be out of these boulders. Just about down and off the mountain. At least I'm done with boulders. Oh, those darn boulders killed me. Whew, rough on the feet. <clears throat> I'm back down at the Silt Lakes. This is the upper Silt Lake. Thank goodness I got some flat hiking now. It's gonna be a game trail here coming up soon, which is going to be pretty awesome. Ooh. Time to refill the water. Got some electrolytes, dump in there. Well, that's not really what I was looking forward to seeing. Big old pile of bear crap. Looks like it's maybe a day old. I didn't see it on the way up though, so that's a little bit alarming. keeping my uh, bear spray in my hand for the rest of the hike. Now that's probably one of the best sights of the day right there. That's the bridge and that means the trail is right there. So I've got trail all the way from here all the way back to the car. Thank goodness. Not liking these damn boulders. Not fun at all. Pretty peaceful area. Oh, I've made it to the Quinnabo Meadows, which is five miles from the trailhead, so we're getting closer. It's starting to rain a little bit, which is very welcoming. It actually feels pretty good. It cooled me off. It's a hot day today. Hiking through the burned area now. Got probably about two, two and a half, maybe miles max. So we get to the car. Well, there it is finally. There's the parking lot. Let's see where we're at for time here. Total hiking time from car to summit back to the car 11 hours and 32 minutes